Okay, so for today's lesson, we're going to look at the volume and surface area for square-based pyramids. If you look at the formula for the volume from your formula sheet, you'll see that the formula is the area of the base times the height divided by 3. So if we look at the base over here, you'll notice we're going to look specifically at square-based pyramids. So the area for this square base would just be b times b. Then we're going to multiply by the height and divide by 3. So the volume is pretty straightforward, but now we're going to have a look at the surface area. So the surface area for a pyramid can be found by breaking the pyramid up kind of into its base shapes. If you look at this figure right over here, this is actually called a net. And from that, you can see that you'd be taking the area of triangles, okay? And there are actually four of these triangles. So you would take the area of those four triangles, and then you would add the area of the base. And again, the area of the base is exactly the same as above. This is a square-based pyramid, so the area of this base is this b squared right there. Okay, let's just take a look, quick look at the triangles a little bit closer. Okay, and you can see that for each of these triangles, okay, their base is called b. That's this right here. The same even up here. Okay, and the height of the triangles is actually what we call S. We don't want to confuse it with the actual height of the pyramid. And this is the slant, okay, as you can see over in this figure right here. Exactly the same as with the cones, we would be able to calculate that slant. So the area for these triangles is simply B times S and then divided by 2. And you'll see we have four of the triangles, so the formula simplifies to 2BS. Let's just take a quick look at the relationship in the full pyramid here, just so you can see that. You'll notice this is the height of the pyramid. This is what we're calling the slant. And this line right here, which then forms a Pythagorean relationship here, is half B. Okay, so we're going to use that to find the slant that we need in this formula. Okay, let's take a look at our first example then. Okay, a square base pyramid has a height of 10 and a base length of 6. What is the volume of this pyramid? So we're going to use our volume formula. So volume equals b squared h divided by 3. Okay, so just reading the example nice and simply, we see that the height is 10, so we can substitute 10 in for height, and we see that the base lengths are 6. So we get 6 squared times 10 divided by 3. And if we just punch that into our calculator, we get an answer of 120, and our units would be centimeters cubed for volume. Okay, so the volume is nice and straightforward. Let's go on to the surface area. Example 2. The Great Pyramid of Giza is in the shape of a square-based pyramid. If its height is approximately 480 feet and its width is 230 feet, calculate the surface area of this wonder, wonder of the ancient world. Okay, so let's have a look at our surface area formula here. So we know from the previous slide that the surface area formula for a pyramid is 2bs plus b squared. Now, I'm wondering if the first thing you might notice here is if we're talking about the surface area, which means, of course, the, the shapes that you can actually touch, you actually can't um, touch the bottom of this. So it's actually not included in the surface area. So we're actually going to omit it, and we really just want to use the formula 2bs here. Okay, so you'll notice right away that we are not given the slant um, in our actual diagram right here. The slant is about there. Okay, now let's. I'm going to just draw a quick picture of the pyramid here. Okay, so here we have our square base, and we know that this dimension is 230. Okay, and we'll try to add the triangles. Definitely not the easiest shape to draw, but it might help you to see exactly what's going on. So this is the slant right here that we need. We know that this whole thing is 230, as we said already. Now, if we make this into a triangle, here's our height. Okay, and we were, of course, given the height as well. That's 480. And hopefully you can see that this is a right angle triangle right here. Okay, and it's this triangle right here. Let me just shade it in blue. 
Maybe hopefully you can see it. It's this triangle relationship right here that we're going to use to find the slant. Okay, so we know that the height is 480. We know that this side right here is actually half of 230. So if we set up our Pythagorean theorem relationship, we have 480 squared plus 115 squared equals s squared. So you can go ahead and punch that in and solve for s. And to one decimal place, you should get 493.6. For your slant. It's always good to keep a lot of decimal places there, but we are dealing with rather large numbers, so we'll just go ahead with that for this particular calculation. Okay, and once you actually have the slant, then it's fairly simple from there. So I'll just continue back up here. Okay, so we have 2. We know that our B is 230. Okay, we know that our S is 493.6. And when we punch that in, we're going to get 227,000. And 48.6, and of course we need our units, and actually in this question we're talking about feet, and this is surface area, so it's feet squared. Okay, I hope that makes sense, and we'll try some practice questions in class tomorrow.